Welcome to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we're going to show you 6 super load carriers that you have never seen before. But before we move on, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Industry required the installation of heavy equipment and machinery on the site. But the first challenge comes with the transportation, especially if it has to be done by a public road. Bayel Brothers hauling truck dedicated itself to heavy haul transportation and rigging, and all oversized items that entail special care. Now it's going to take the 461 ton transformer to its destination. This hauler is 73 meters long and 6 meters wide. Two additional trucks are used to drag and drive it. A team of workers and wireless communication ensures the balance of haulers from different angles and points. The best thing about this hauler is, it safely gives a low ground clearance, so that heavy and oversized units can cross bridges and travel over highways. Today, all around the Earth, 440 nuclear plants are operational and currently providing 11% of the world's electricity. Now, 60 more are under construction, and they are required to have these two feed water preheaters within the turbine building. Each preheater weighs 26 tons and measured 10.2 meters long, 2.3 meters wide, and 2.8 meters high. For a safe journey, there is no other than Mammoth's self-propelled modular transporter, aka SPMT. Its wheels can be turned 360 degrees together or separately. You can also attach many SPMT units according to the load size. All the units can be controlled via a single remote. In short, from transporting massive objects to heavy equipment, the SPMT could carry any super load. Do you know how long it takes a super load to reach its final destination? Interestingly, this 637,000 pound load took over a year and a half to move 61 miles, which is the fastest record. Perkins achieved this by using their 400 ton dual lane loading suspension beam with 48 axles. They call it the road train. It is 391 feet long and 22 feet wide. So this carrier is only permitted to move at night. Usually, the trailer is configured to accommodate a top-down load maneuver, allowing a crane to place the cargo between the suspension beams from above and secure onto customized load support beams below.
For years, Edwards has been developing heavy riggers and haulers, but now they achieved ultimate success by building the Goldhofer hydraulic platform trailers. Its self-propelled heavy-duty PST modules were explicitly used for the transportation of heavy loads. Its incredible features include 90-degree transverse steering, diagonal steering, and carousel steering. So, the driver could easily tackle most any problematic possibility on the road. They equipped it with automatic steering that can be controlled via remote. Edwards' self-propelled configurations are perfectly suited for on-site applications and short distance over the road hauls. You know, there's an endless natural treasure hidden in the ocean. Some portions of the treasure we are extracting in the form of natural gas and crude oil. All that is possible today because of the gas bars. These are the type of floating oil platforms typically used in deep waters. Usually they are taken to their destination by gas vessels, which are also ships specifically designed for transporting all kinds of gas in tons. But at the time of the world's most massive spar delivery, there was no one ready to take it, as it was full of danger. Millions of dollars would disappear in the event of an accident. Then, Equinor took the risk and set a new world record by transporting 4,600 tons of spar from North Korea to Western Norway. You might be thinking about how these gas or oil spars are loaded onto their ships. Could cranes load them up on the ship? Actually, spars are built near the port. When they get ready, they are slid to the water. After that, ships are used to drag them in deep water, where the carrier lowers the body by filling it with water. When the oil spar reaches over it, the ship pumps out the water. In this way, the superload is loaded up on the ship. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. What did you think of these technologies? Let us know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to hit that notification bell to get notified when we release new content. We hope to catch you next time.